Sir Barristan presents the mask found on the body of White Rat, who was murdered by a member of a group called the Sons of the Harpy, to Daenerys. She orders the murdered Unsullied to be given a public funeral in the Temple of the Graces. Barristan warns that the Sons will see that as another reason to oppose Daenerys, but she hopes it will make them easier to find and eliminate. When a member of the Sons of the Harpy is discovered and arrested, Barristan counsels that the man should be given a fair trial rather than simply executing him. Daenerys dismisses everyone present and thanks them for their counsel, but Barristan wishes to have a word with her in private, insisting she has to learn the truth about her father. Daenerys assumes he is merely repeating the lies of traitors, but Barristan insists it is indeed the truth. He reveals how her father set towns and castles aflame, murdered sons in front of their fathers, and burned men alive with wildfire. These brutal actions lead to revolt which toppled the Targaryen dynasty. Barristan states that Ares ordered these brutalities because he thought he was dispensing justice, and it made him feel powerful, until the very end. Heeding his advice, Daenerys decides that a fair trial will be held. Unfortunately, a trial never takes place, as Mossada murders the son of the harpy. Barristan is later present when Mossada is publicly beheaded by Dario Naharis on the order of Daenerys. Atop the Great Pyramid with Daenerys, Barristan reminisces about the times he spent with Prince Rhaegar Targaryen. He recalls that he accompanied Rhaegar whenever he left to Red Keep to sing to the small folk with his harp. Barristan guarded Rhaegar and collected the money, which they would donate to another minstrel, an orphanage, and once they used their earnings to get very drunk. Daenerys is very surprised, who only knew Rhaegar as a great warrior from stories Viserys told her. Dario Naharis appears to tell Daenerys that his Dar and many more supplicants are waiting for her. With Dario already guarding her, Barristan decides not to attend. Later, Barristan is walking through the streets of Marine when he hears the bells toll and notices many civilians fleeing in terror. Drawing his sword, he discovers the sons of the Harpy have ambushed and murdered several unsullied soldiers and Grey Worm, severely wounded, making his last stand. Barristan draws several of the sons of the Harpy away from Grey Worm, cutting down a number of them before being stabbed multiple times. Before Barristan can be finished off, Grey Worm manages to kill the last son of the Harpy. Grey Worm struggles to check if Barristan is still alive, but sees that the old knight has succumbed to his wounds. Sir Barristan's body is laid to rest within the throne room in the Great Pyramid. In reaction to Barristan's death, Daenerys angrily rounds up each of the leaders of Marine's noble families in the catacombs where Viserion and Rhaegal reside, and feeds two of the great masters to her dragons in order to intimidate the rest. However, she later regrets taking revenge and decides to instead secure her bondage with the noble people of Marine by reopening the fighting pits and wedding herself to his Darzo Lorak.